Now in the vibrato course, I started it off by explaining or creating many, many easy ends, easy ways to sort of jump start your vibrato. Because I, as I always say, there's no one way, it's just the way that's going to work for you. And we're all a little bit different or we all uh, relate to things different ways, so that's why I put so many different easy ends as the beginning of the vibrato course. From the easy ends, if none of those easy ends got you into your vibrato, the very next thing that happens is that there are other possible things that could be going on with your voice that just flat out won't let you have that easy in. And the reason why you won't get the easy in is because you have a different problem, like a tongue that is too tight or pulled back, like a jaw that's too much tension, or the digastric muscles underneath the chin are trying to help you sing and you don't need them to do that because they're involved in the swallowing muscle process and that process can uh, will always stop good tone and vibrato from happening. So these are things to address and I addressed all of them after the easy ends because I thought the logical thing to do here is to try to get people in and everybody who had great success right off with one or two or three of any of those uh, uh, different ways in, and I, I had many more than three. Well, hey, you got it, and then you can move on to the next part of the course. But if not, then we have to address the other problems. And once those problems are addressed, then comes the fun exercises, because I can start to give you all kinds of fixes to fix any of those possible problems. And once those problems are fixed, back to the easy ends, find an easy in, or even Fixing the problem will get you in and you'll be involved in your vibrato. Now there's lots of quick fixes and uh, then there's some that are not so quick that have to be worked on a little bit. But here's a fun one. I'll just, uh, for those of you who are watching YouTube and are not on the site in relationship to the course, here's a fun way to start to balance your chords in case uh, you just got your air pressures wrong. You take a simple lip roll. <laughs> and just pop right into the sound right off the lip roll, like And what happens is that the lip roll and the air pressure position you where you belong, and then if you just go right into it without changing anything, you can start to feel that better balance. And it can be done in any pitch. any place just to start to feel the balance of that. Quick little easy trick. Now another problem may be the tongue and if the tongue is the problem addressing or understanding a little bit more about the placement of the tongue inside and even understanding what's going on with the jaw can help as well. So let's say we just take an IE sound. Now if I go IE 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 and move my jaw a lot that is a problem. Now can you say Ah, ee, ah, ee, ah, ee, ah. and not move your lips or your jaw much. Now don't misunderstand this and try to go ah, ee, ah, ee, ah, and do something that sounds very unnatural. You don't need to do that. You want to sound natural but sing a pitch. And again, it can be anywhere. Or even practice to ah, ee, ah, ee, ah, even practice to an arpeggio. So this could be another reason why your vibrato is not working if your tongue is too much in the way and being something that causes restriction inside of you, it takes away the natural balance, and if the natural balance is taken away, then the result of free resonance and vibrato both can be a problem. So another thing that can try to help you out a little bit there. Well, I've got way more in-depth things than that, but this is just a quick one to tell you a little bit here to help you out on YouTube. And at the same time, if you come over to totallyvocals.com, get involved in the vibrato course, it is worked out in a very wonderfully organized, logical succession to get you into your vibrato and help you to discover vibrato and learn so much more about it not only how to do it, but how to control it. Not only how to control it,
but when to use it, when not to use it, and how it's used in various styles. All of that's covered in the course. So if you're interested in vibrato and want to really go someplace where the knowledge and the information can really show you what is going on, check out the vibrato course, totallyvocals.com.